Hi, I'm Analog Armin. And I'm TikTok Tyler. And welcome to Gothenburg Watches. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're looking at the Omega Globemaster Coaxial Master Chronometer in Stainless Steel, reference 130.33.39.21.02.001. You can see this watch in our Ardmore location and find out more at GothenburgWatches.com. Also, download our app, Gothenburg On Time, for the latest news and orological reviews. Now, on Tyler's wrist, 16 centimeters, 6 and a third inches, the Globemaster fits like a glove. Due to its modest 39 millimeter case size, 13 millimeter height, and 46 millimeter lug extremity to lug extremity, the watch wears well on any wrist. The lugs are very short and on a downward sloping angle, which gives a nice curved and contoured feeling to the case. On to detailing of the case, perhaps the most prominent detail lies within the deeply fluted bezel. Now beyond the fluted bezel, we have an exquisitely finished case. Notice on the side opposite the crown how a large portion of brushed material melds into a very thin, maybe one to two millimeter line of high polish before succumbing back to the brush finish seen on the vast majority of the watch. The Globemaster has the option of either a strap or a bracelet. The strap is very robust, yet soft and comfortable alligator leather inlaid with smooth calf skin on the inside. Now the strap does protrude from the case just slightly, but enough to make the watch wear a little bit larger than some strap watches. At the end of the strap there is an Omega branded dual button release deployant clasp. Switching to the bracelet, we can see a mostly brushed, very muted style. With the bracelet affixed to the watch, it becomes a much more casual, easily worn with jeans and a t-shirt sport watch. Now my favorite thing about the bracelet is how well it matches the case. On the front you have a very, very brushed look to, the, to match the case and yet on the sides of the lugs, on the edges right in the corner, you see a very thin line of high polish to match that of what is on the case. If we turn to the watch's dial, we see a classic, completely uncluttered, very symmetrical and multi-dimensional pie pan dial. Something that really stands out about this dial to me is that there are three, that's right, three different fonts on this dial. Still, Omega has managed to keep it classic and clean. The aforementioned fluted bezel as well as the pie pan dial are both original Omega designs dating back to the first constellation in 1952. Now, if we turn the watch over, we're greeted by a display case back adorned with Omega's Constellation medallion in a dual high polish and brush finish. Now let us fall through the Constellation medallion into the technical masterpiece that is Omega's Cal 8900 movement. The first of its kind, the 8900 movement, has been chronometer certified by METAS, the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology, making it the world's first master chronometer. This META certification, however, is much more than a COSC cert. The movement is tested inside of the watch case in six different positions at two temperatures, at a full wind and two-thirds of its power reserve. 60 hours at a full wind for the Globemaster. Beyond this testing, the watch is also tested for water resistance. In the Globemaster's case, it's 100 meter. And finally, to receive the complete META certification, the watch must be resistant to magnetic fields in excess of 15,000 gauss. The Omega Globemaster achieves this not through a Faraday cage, as other anti-magnetic watches have, but with a silicon balance spring. Now my favorite feature of this movement is the quick hour jump function. This is great for travel, traveling between time zones because you can pull the crown out one click without disturbing the escapement or the minute hand and do a quick hour jump. This has been Analog Armand and TikTok Tyler showing you the stainless steel Omega Globemaster Coaxial Master Chronometer. See it live at our Suburban Square location in Ardmore or give us a ring at 610-664-1715 to chat watches with us.